Hey guys, welcome to yet another YouTube video by your girl and the star. Today we're just doing a video on um, tips on how to survive varsity or transitioning from high school to varsity life. Well, I'm not going to be very long. Well, congratulations, that means you've made it out of high school. Finally, you can get rid of that school uniform and be yourself. Well, okay. To business <laughs> so, do it so that this video is not that long first of all guys this is varsity there are no more classes there are no more teachers that are gonna guide you every step of the way to tell you to go to class and be on your case all the time so you need to be very responsible that's the first and most important thing is that varsity requires you to be responsible responsible with money with time making friends attending class absolutely everything well guys i advise you that also again you make use of all your lecturers and your tutors attend all your lecturers and tutors at least first semester this is a mistake that common first year students make they think oh since i'm no longer in high school there's no teacher there's no one who's after me guys it counts you need to attend at least 80 percent of all your classes and tutorials so please do that another thing guys SS is hell. SS is the devil himself, I'm telling you. A lot of guys don't make it out of university because of SS. They spend a lot of their time at SS. Guess what, guys? SS is going to take your time, it's going to finish your money, and then you'll forget the reason you're here. Remember, the main reason you're here is to, is to obtain that qualification. And trust me, guys, there is nothing fun. Not that I have personal experience, but there's nothing fun with repeating modules. Because you fail one module, you find out that it's your major and it's blocking two more. That means now you're three modules behind. You know what that means? You have another year. So a diploma that is supposed to take you three years or a degree that's supposed to take you three years, it's now going to take four. That's not nice. Because four years means more money. Another thing, guys. Please, as much as it's important for you to attend all your classes and please make good friends guys friends are life because if you just have friends who are there for fun that's the only thing you're going to think about that's the only thing you're going to be doing but if you have friends who want to see you succeed and move forward and all of that that obviously is going to be your goal you're going to have fun but you're also not going to forget the reason that you're here anyways so it's very important to make friends guys i have friends Mm, I had a group of friends from first to third year and then our goal was that it was that we were um, we would work very hard every day but the was more of individual it was more of individual work you know we would study together but like one will be in their corner and who like we hardly revised together but when i was doing my um btech slash honors whatever i don't want to explain what btech is so the type of people that i hang with we will have revision sessions every before every test that helped a lot to you guys it helped a lot because that's when we see actually and we didn't have it right before writing we would study give ourselves time to study as an individual and then the day before the test we will have that revision session because that session it's actually to alert yourself or find out exactly how much you've learned from your studying what more you need to do which is very important another thing guys study smart study smart we don't get things the same sometimes it takes long it depends but you know your strengths you know your weaknesses do not be afraid to ask for help your lecturers are there for that your tutors are there for that and their mentors and other programs ask for help you will never no one will ever say no i don't want to help you we there are people here just to help you i'm here just to help students by the way so always ask for help be it in class be it outside class finding directions because it could be super difficult to find a venue so always ask always ask it's very important it's key um guys please use all the resources that they provide you know there are resources uh, like academics writing time management um, thingies where they help you organize your time and all of that it's very important i remember you had a session first year and then there are sessions for, for thinking how to study and setting your study timetable to help you with it. There are so many um, um, things that the university or there are so many measures that the university takes just to help you 
get your degree no one wants you to fail you guys no one wants you to fail if you fail or you feel like no one is doing enough then that means you're not seeking help prepare for class i always say this it might like i used to prepare for class not that I did it all the time, but I, I noticed the difference as time went by and then I started making sure that I prepare for every class. The importance of preparing for class is because you know exactly uh, what is it that you don't get. So when after the lecture, when the lecturer is like, um, any questions, because you've prepared for class and you already know what they were talking about. You know the section that you're struggling with from the preparation, ah, preparation and also what they said in class. You can always ask a question and you get clarification. Other than, going to class you have nothing you know nothing about the topic because whatever they present to you it will be new information and it's going to be very hard very hard for you to both process analyze and all of that guys um university you need to set out an appointment to see a lecturer but a lot of lecturers especially my side uj they have an open door policy okay let me say yes to uj, to UJ. they have an open door policy you can always go there and ask you can know, like that's the thing you need to prove yourself to your lecturers no one no everyone is here to help you but if i see that you don't take your studies seriously there's no way that i'm going to dedicate my time to you you can't come to me last minute i'm not saying like i'm, I'm, I'm like i understand why you do it you can't go to someone last minute and be like yeah i'm struggling with this where were you all the time you can't struggle about a topic we did three weeks back and then come to me now what was happening this whole three weeks time you can't um learn something now and then five months later when you're about to write exams that's the only time you ask for help it doesn't work like that that means you were just relaxed this whole time and now you're panicking because there are exams happening mm -mm. universe 24 hours that you make it make use of those they are alive <laughs> i talk a lot i know so um that's those are the basics straight from the heart straight from the head but if you guys think these videos are um, important and then you feel like i need to give you detailed information in terms of how to prepare for class how to study effective ways of studying and all of that you can always comment down below and then i can help you and yeah this is a way that just the few things that i wanted to tell you guys like high school the there's like a limited number of you there's like 30 or 40 of you in one class so that it's easy for the teacher to know each and every one of you and learn it one by one but where by university there's like five there could be a class with like 500 of you or a class with that's like 200 of you and obviously the lecturer is not going to know you one by one and they're not going to go after you so you need to be responsible no one is going to go after you if you need to submit your work or, or get things done like in high school they would remind you constantly the best thing to do in university or college is that you start with your work same time as they give you if they give you something today you go through it today so that if you have questions or you don't get it or you need clarification you ask for it on time you last minute things never work don't study the same the things you need to, you used to do in high school don't do them that thing of studying the night before don't do that you're gonna prepare on time prepare on time guys it's very 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 important gosh prepare on time please i don't know how i can emphasize this Ooh. anyways as i said this is just on top of my head uh you guys will let you me know if there are more things that you'd like to know details things maybe yeah tell your friend to tell a friend to tell everybody to watch this video like, subscribe. Bye.